gonna be a shit show, I reckon. They, they, they're all trying to organise 30, 25 people. And, oh. <laughs> and action! This is so crazy, there's so many people. They gave you a hundred bucks? Yeah. Getting pretty lucky right now. Love and life. Ow! Too dodgy. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Day today we left Santa Catalina at 4 a.m. Uh, some of us had a hard time getting up but uh, we're motoring for about five hours and we're about to come to that little island that we tried to come to, to the other day. Holy crap they picked a beautiful spot because a production company is doing a, a film shoot on the boat or around the boat to promote tourism in Panama and I think about 20, 25 of them are coming on putting the drones up there's a beautiful beach here uh, we weren't allowed to anchor here when we came and checked it out for the production company because at that time we didn't have a permit to anchor there but now we have all the paperwork so this could be quite interesting for a few hours I think a few of our crew are going to become extras in their um, production and then um, and then we'll carry on sailing up the coast oh boy oh boy <laughs> so we've actually cleaned up the saloon a little bit check this out hardly even recognize it it's a nightmare we've got 58,000 things of camera stuff and we use three three GoPros and a camera I don't know where all the rest of the shit comes from <laughs> here we are here's the island it's called uh, Grandito de Oro and in the distance there there's four speed boats coming straight towards us uh, that's the production company I think so perfect timing You said 40 feet. 30 or 40, yeah. That's, that's more. That's 60, so. <laughs> Sounds like it's that boat's the boss. Are you waiting for us? No, not really. Oh, okay. We're getting stuff set up. It's possible. We need to move the cameraman a little closer to Granito. We're anchored here, so we're, okay. we're holding. Bring it. It's gonna be a shit show, I reckon. They, they, they're all trying to organize 30, 25 people. Oh. And right on time. Just <laughs> gonna stand. Oh, man. I, I was nearly going to say that was going to happen, but I was like, nah, you just did one earlier, it should be good. Yeah. Colin. 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 Okay, I'm Andrew. Uh, Andrew's. Hi, Andrew's moving in. We're the Hello. two directors. Okay. And uh, Colin is our captain. Wait, wait, wait. Drones. So this is Anders, he's one of the uh, directors. So he's just, um, we're trying to figure out where to put the boat and uh, try to get the shoot having, happening. It's a contemporary dance thing. Mm hmm Contemporary dance kind of dancing through like, Panama. Normally tourism stuff is just like pretty shot, like somebody walking and smiling, but this is like, yeah. <laughs> it, so. yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, so I'm pumped. Thank you for helping me on the boat. Don't worry, um, I'm so, away. so I think for the first tape, we'll probably have you like up here. You guys, there's yeah. two other JBL. It's on your camera. So did you want me to go this way and then just drive? Yeah, why don't Perfect. You, yeah, yeah, loop out a little bit further. Yeah, date. <laughs> All of our crew, we're gonna hide. Okay. All of Colin and his sexy okay. crew can be in the shot. Not down. Uh, I'm actually looking a lot better when we're kind of facing a little bit, not directly into the sun this time. Just like more this direction. Yeah. Yep. Cool. 
Thank you. No worries. We can go anywhere you want. <laughs> can I like hang with you guys for like a couple months or so? Is that cool? We're moving, huh? Okay, here we go, from the top, and action! This is so crazy, there's so many people, there's like 25 people on this boat. Everyone's got a specific role and it's just a shit show. Alright, let's reset, back to one. That looks good. Let's roll it. Camera speed. Alright, here we go, real quiet everybody. Cue music. <laughs> Every little decision that has to be made has to go through like five people. Yeah, is she gonna stand here or is she gonna stand there? Okay, let's go from the all the way up to the director. It's action cut and now action this is cut. Alright, let's reset back to one. No cameras, please. <laughs> no, it reminds me a little bit of below deck. There's just so for well, below deck there's like a hundred production crew and it's just madness. Madness. And then everything everything just takes so long. So we're just kind of hanging out right now, waiting for everyone to make the me next move. Pretty cool experience though, and, and a bunch of the crew are getting paid to be extras in this production, so a little bit of pocket money as well. I don't know how many cameras are on the down there, but there's a big one like this big, but it's for underwater. Yeah, big, right. ye big yellow submarine one. <laughs> Let's go take a look what everyone's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Girls eating all their food? <laughs> Drinking all their beer and eating all their food? Yep. Uh huh. What kind of rig you got here? This is a red Komodo a camera. Anybody? It's a Leica lens. DJI RS2 gimbal. Well, how, how much is this setup worth? Uh, 25, 30, Wow. What's this? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> They gave you a hundred bucks? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you sat around, bucks you sat on your ass and made a hundred bucks. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the splash almost went to the helm. The water is beautiful. <laughs> We're on a charter and I'm just hanging out for this big chicken that's defrosted in the sea. But I don't want to cook it because then everyone's going to ask for a bit and I don't want to share it. it so I'm in, awesome. Uh, I think we got some good stuff. It'll turn out amazing, I know that. It, they always do, you just gotta fight for it sometimes. So. People wanna watch this, where do they go to see it? Uh, follow the visit, visit Panama. That's a wrap, y'all. This is carnage, this is probably the most people that we've ever had on Parlay. Crazy. Bye guys. actually prohibited the anchor here like I mentioned earlier so pretty lucky to even be able to do this because I got some special permit to anchor for the filming so feeling pretty lucky right now loving life here is the final edit that they made for Panama tourism Parlay only features for a couple of seconds after a whole afternoon of filming the director so the, there was a fella in the water and he's like okay to the director that was up here and he's like okay I'm saying action but the director just couldn't help himself as he said it he's like the director's just straight after him action he just <laughs> couldn't say out of <laughs> he's like I'm the fucking director I'll say action <laughs> okay I'm staying out of it action, oh, action. <laughs> how you doing honey we need water ever I bring you water <laughs> Sounds like us on a night out on the piss. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. I'm saying beep. beep. <laughs> All right, we can't stay here. The permits run out. Let's go sailing. All right, Kelly's hoisting the mainsail. First time. Up she goes. 
Main sail's up. We're still at anchor, so Tom's gonna bring the anchor up. And we're gonna get going that way. Yeah, so it goes, it goes like that, nice and tight. And then it goes there and into there. Gotcha. I'm gonna bring this winch handle out. You can kind of force it. There we go. Okay, you can start bringing it out. Contreras Islands. We've been here before. We went for a dive around the corner. Really nice uh, free diving stuff around there. This is kind of like a halfway point to Boca Chica where we're going to clear out. So it's a beautiful protected anchorage. We got one friend in here. It's like a little fishing fishing boat. And yeah, this is us for the night until we go to Moro Negrito tomorrow morning. sleep last night it was howling and my anchor alarm set and uh, we kept coming really close to what felt like we were dragging we didn't drag at all in the end but when the gusts would come I could see the boat coming right back and then coming forward which is totally normal but we were so close to these rocks behind us here that I uh, had to keep such a close eye on it and now it's drizzling overcast rainy this place is a little bit miserable when it's like this, so we're gonna just keep moving, heading towards Costa Rica. But uh, Moro Negrito, that's where we're going today. Apparently it's one of the best surf spots in all of Panama. And nobody really goes there, because it's so far away, but we've got an opportunity to maybe anchor there for at least a day, maybe overnight and surf again in the morning. So this is what it's all about, exploring with Parlay, finding these surf spots living the dream. So grateful. So we've just come across a big uh, patch of sort of leaves and stuff which um, can act as a, a fish activating device like a, I call them a fad. And uh, so we're just getting the rods in and I think a couple of the guys are going to jump in. Uh, the only thing is Tom just saw a, uh, a fin swim past the front of it. So there might be, uh, which means there could be some fish there. So, or shark. Well, it was either a shark or a dolphin. It's a 50-50. So many of those jellyfish. Why? Because it's murky and scary, I think you said it. Too dodgy. What do you mean dodgy? Unless the boat's right there, fuck that. You can't see and it's just like, you're what? not going to shoot anything with the boat this far away. That's fucking dodgy. Ooh, baby, up ahead we got a flock of birds going crazy diving and there's some things thrashing in the water under them. It's the first like group of birds that we've seen um, feeding since we've been on the Pacific side. So um, we'll see what happens. They're actually moving away from us at about the same. Sp oh, ah, shit! It's dolphins. Ah, dolphins. That means it's not mahi mahi or something like that. Dolphins. Lonesome monohull bobbing around in the middle of nowhere. We'll go see who it is. It could be we made some friends with a boat called One Life who also has a YouTube channel. Um, could could be them actually. See how they're doing. I'm going straight towards them and they keep turning. I think we're gonna collide with them. I recognize that blue stripe down the side of the boat. 
Any sir? 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 Any Lucy, 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 Yeah, mate. Um, yeah, we're just coming down here looking for some surf spots. Have you been in here surfing? Go to Isla Silva de Afuera. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be possible on the end of the beach break to go in, but it's not charted. I know some people that did it, but I haven't seen it myself. Okay, copy that, mate. Thank you. Oh, you guys have fun. I'm glad you got the boat fixed. Yeah, cheers, mate. Over now. Man, man, a few words, this guy. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> okay, so there were no waves at uh, Moro Negrito, but we've just kept looking, come up the coast. Trevor's just ahead of us. We've found this little island with potential of a break happening. I love this shit, just exploring new places. On the charts, this is just a yellow yellow dot, so not much detail. Hopefully it's not shallow up ahead of us. But yeah, we'll see what Trevor has to say, because he might have checked the other side of this island. Uh, there's a wave around the corner here. Any good? Uh, it's surfable, it's but surfable. It's, slow. it's slow, you know. Yeah, have you guys been surfing the break? Yeah. Is it good? Good right now. What? There's no, what? There's no smell. <laughs> Dog food delivery. We'll take it. Just pull them out of this. So we just went to the beach to the dogs for a walk and uh, there's this little bar that they're building up there only the workers are there and the owner doesn't come back for a couple of days and the workers were so nice and they was they said just bring some bears up and we can sit at the bar and have a beer and watch the sunset so I'm gonna take you guys with me with us this time because it's so beautiful the thrill that comes with adventuring into the unknown is hard to put into words. This view, unreal. Living in the moment and letting a spontaneous change of plans take us on a big detour led us to an incredible uninhabited island paradise. Cheers. Cheers <laughs> There's not much better than watching a sunset with good friends and a couple of cold ones. Here's to everyone out there watching our journey. Your support means everything to us, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next Sunday, same time, same place. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>